Yeah, yeah. All right. So we start our vlog today. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Please stay on. Please stay. Yeah, don't run. Don't go. Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine. It's Steve-O. I'm back at the Atomic Liquors. Uh, I wanted to redo it because Steve-O here did some research on it a while back. He's been quite excited to want to do Atomic Liquors. He hasn't been here before, right? Never has. We walked past it. Yeah, we times. walked past it because we always park at the Llama Lot. But we didn't park at the Llama Lot today because look, something's going down at the Llama Lot. So we had to park somewhere over there. That, that was fine. That's a whole lot of We good. Lots. So he's got, yeah. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> it just reminded me of the fire festival. I was like, oh god, I hope oh. it's not as bad as that. <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, no, that's neither here research. nor there. Look at all the research you did. Wow, well, you guys, it's all on. It's, it's all a, on the Stevo. I'm, I'm not doing. I'm not doing shit. It's all on Stevo. I'm just gonna lay back and just film Stevo as he walks towards me all the time, and I just keep walking past. Don't do that. <laughs> Remember that? I'm gonna try and yeah, I'm, stay I'm, still. I'm planting yeah. myself yeah. into my shoes. I'm gonna do widescreen lens so like so you can see everything as far as the see atomic blinkers. <laughs> what kind of channel is this? Anyway. Back to the show. <laughs> Back to Steve-O, let's do this. And uh, okay. yeah, let's get this started. Give you a synopsis on where we're located. We are on Fremont Street. Right there is El Cortez. The Fremont Street experience is a few blocks down. And here we are. Atomic Liquors, the historic Atomic Liquors. That's right, it's very historic. And how historic is it, Steve-O? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, Mark. <laughs> um, well, it's the oldest freestanding bar in Vegas. in Vegas. So I think that's probably the key is where it really gets, it's really got some ancient. Not only is it old school Vegas, but it's also history Vegas. And doesn't it have like the first number license or something like the, the liquor license is like number one or something like that, like the first number? I, I, I thought I remember that. I Need thought that was our Block 16 video. Way to bring that one up. Oh. <laughs> See how I did that? <laughs> yeah, Not that even realizing. <laughs> yeah. It's so so smooth okay. so on anyway, how I do that. It's old school Vegas and it's a lot of history of Vegas. And yeah. so Atomic Liquors, what they're trying to do is capitalize on the fact that the atomic bombs were out that way. And 63 miles that way. They Beyond were talking, the fire festival is doing, the atomic <laughs> testing. And, and, and look, and you could pretty much, the deal is pretty much still in, uh, like outside of the tent for the fire festival. <laughs> you could pretty much see, and you'd be able to still see those bombs going But how would there. you see them? You'd be on the roof. Ah. Oh, clever. <laughs> clever. Transition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh my God, I'm a sweaty mess. Okay. It is hot out here, guys. <laughs> okay, so 63 miles away, but you could actually see it up to 100 miles away. And thank goodness for everybody in Vegas that the, the trade winds, the prevailing winds that are always here, tend to blow the, the uh, fallout. That oh, okay, way. so nobody so we didn't get had radiation here. or whatever. It Unfortunately, would be. for the people of Utah, when they the southern like St. George area, oh, okay, not so lucky. Oh. But they actually did have some high cancer rates. So oh, geez. What a, bring it down. Bring down the, bring down the video. Wah, wah. Okay. Anyway, they opened in 1951. Um, oh, no. Sorry. The first atomic test was in 51 and, the, and in 1957. Oh, okay. So it's sorry, been going on for... Little, yeah, it's been already happening. So that's why they you know, thought atomic <laughs> liquors was probably not their name. So, um, so don't think about it, right? Oh, so um, anyway, the, sen the government would, uh, would send out pamphlets to let everybody know not to get too close. Like you but, are right now. <laughs> Did I just step forward? Yes. <laughs> that was perfect timing, though. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So um, anyway, the government sent out pamphlets. But I think we should go inside now. You think so? Yeah, and, and, and then we'll kind of finish it up. All right, let's do this. All right, we're going to go. We're going in. Alrighty, let's entree. Howdy. Howdy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, do I not look no, old? Oh. Alright, I, I passed the test. As long as we talk during the whole time, we're good. You have to talk the yeah, you have to talk time. the whole okay, time. We'll so. Alright, really well let me uh, just kind of show you while while you're reading. 
There's seating outside too, in case you can't see your paperwork. But anyway, it's dark and dank, guys. This is like the best dark and dank I have yet to see, actually. All right, guys, decided to step out for a hot second. Um, Barbara Streisand's chair is there, but uh, some guy's sitting on it. So I just uh, pointed it out to Steve-O. It's just a chair with a backing with a star on it. And when we go back in, I'll point it out. Anyway, they're okay. sitting out I here. Here so it's pretty cool. Apparently they have a cornhole out here. And then they have this cool little outside area, patio looking situation with lighting as well. So across from uh, the Atomic Liquors is the Golden Goose um, sign, old sign that they brought back. Normally he's in, going in circles, so I don't know why it's not running right now. Um, I did notice menus here, so I'm going to peruse the menu real quick, but I, I know they have more than just this because I thought I had wine here before. So I think these are just like the specialties. He wants to end the vlog with a few more things, and um, he didn't realize that some of the filming locations here, I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, I was like looking them up. But as I was looking that up, by the way, the filming location I speak of is the movie casino where Joe Pesci stabs some dude in the neck with a pen, was filmed here, by the way, inside. But it also said the place was established in 1952. <laughs> Yeah, not 57. Not 57. But, I'm like, this seven might be a two. Yeah, he can't even read his own writing. I'm like, that's your writing, dude, not mine. I don't know what your twos and sevens look like. Well, uh, I, but, um, I did see something else I kind of missed on here. Um, there were 928 tests, and the last one was in 1992, which wasn't that long ago, really. No. Uh, and what was the, oh, so what was, uh, how were you going to end it with all your info? What was your last oh, info uh, on here? Just, just that it was really um, kind of an old school hangout for, um, for celebs. Yeah, that were we performing like on the, the Rat Pack and stuff? Yeah, uh, Frankie and, the, um, and, uh, Sabino and all those guys. Yeah. And, and, um, I guess Barbara Streisand was here. She has her own star on a, on a bar. A chair. A bar chair. Because, um. Because she's cool like that. Because she, because she, she's cool like that. So, um... Well, that's, that's the thing about my channel. You don't want to come here knowing your facts. Like, you know, you don't want to be educated. <laughs> you're here for a good laugh, really. I mean, let's just, let's just call it out. <laughs> like, you're watching my shit because you want to laugh. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not informative. <laughs> I mean, hello. <laughs> Truth is more important than facts. <laughs> I mean, it can be informative. Sometimes. So, there you go. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, so I got nothing. That's it. Oh, I don't know if they serve food here, but I did see Atomic Nuts <laughs> for three bucks. So I'm like, I don't know about food. Um, anyway. So, so we'll find out if there's food. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty not happening here on a Wednesday, which is nice for me because I don't like crowds. So what time is it? It's a six. Wednesday at 6. And this is what the place looks like. Hold on. See? And inside wasn't all that crowded either. So I like that. You know, I'm sure on a Friday yeah, night it's crazy. Not too bad though. No, not oh yeah, no. They make it up for later times. We're just coming at an off time. That's all it is. Guys, guess what? I am actually not having wine today. I was gonna. It was funny because she I said, Do you have a house charge? She goes, Yeah. But we're really not known for that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want to do a sugary drink though. And so I asked her what the Atomic Mule, if that was sweet, and she goes, it's more spicy than sweet. I'm like, okay, you got me. So you know me, I'm spicy. So I'm going to try the Atomic Mule. It says it's made with fresh ginger, tamarind, lime, and absolute. So we'll see how that turns out. She also said they do serve food. You just have to scan this barcode and it'll bring up another menu. So uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, so I ordered Atomic Nut Spicy Tamarind. So it looks like it's, I don't know if that's a banana chip or what, but it looks like corn nuts, peanuts, and then this is supposed to be tamarind flavor. So, yum. 
All right, guys, my atomic mule. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I can see where wine can be boring, whatever. <laughs> but I still like my wine. Is Tivo here got a margarita? Yeah, the, the, I, I think they just made it more basic. It sounds like the one they have here is kind of fancy. Uh-huh. So. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either, but I'm gonna try this. I'm doing it for the vlog, because it's a signature atomic liquors drink. Well, Steve-O finished his margarita and decided to change it up to a Coors. Look at that, the old, old style Coors bottle. I don't know if that's really, it's banquet style. I don't even know, is that an old style? I'm just yeah, making that up. Stubby, yeah. I'm making that up like Steve-O made up the date of the place. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this just in, we ordered is it atomic tortilla chips or something like that? With some cheese sauce. And then we did the shoe sting, shoe, shoe sting, shoe string fries. Good Lord, that was a tongue twister. With, uh, they called it bomb blue cheese. And then the nuclear dressing. So it's supposed to be spicy, but it's green. So I, I don't know, I was expecting it to be like a red hot sauce. So I don't know, either way, gotta check this stuff out. All right, just an update. The cheese sauce is amazing. The chips with their yummy seasoning, amazing. Crispy, fresh, fries, hot and fresh, yum. Not spicy, but good. Yummy, chunky blue cheese. So yeah, all of this is a mouthful of deliciousness. All right, guys, we're gonna head out, but I wanted to point out the cool mural. I mean, really, you should only We are. And I want to point out Bab's chair inside. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, it's, is it available now? Is that her chair? It's like right here, right? Yeah, here it is. So it's got the star. Just look for the star, guys. So I was asking this cool dude outside what that meant, and he was saying that bikers where they're like Hell's Angel vests or whatever and they call them colors so they're not allowed because lots of bar fights are a happening. So no yeah. thank you, don't do that. Just saying. All right guys, we are ending our vlog here at Atomic Liquors here on Fremont Street. That was, as always, a pretty cool bar, pretty cool experience. Yes, it yeah. I was gonna say, cool to people watch, but there wasn't too many people. It was kind of getting busier. Actually, I saw, I didn't want to film them because, you know, I feel weird about it, but there was a just married couple that just walked in. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. It's, they just got married and they came to Atomic Leaguer, so. Um, anywho, I thought the food was good. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. That's Service nice was great. And, and drinks were good. And that's all I got. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out Atomic Liquors if you're here on the Fremont Street Experience. It literally is a couple blocks away. You can walk it. Probably a five minute walk if you walk fast. Ten minutes if you don't. <laughs> that's wonder, all I got. I wonder if they're going to say who's who. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.